place. Monday nights, the All-Stars. Tuesday nights, Jazz. You got rock and roll. It is actually the second oldest blues music venue in the United States. It opened December 22nd, 1973, and it is beyond an institution. It is part of the fabric of Charlotte history and music history. You know, it's the love of the place, because no matter who you are or what you do, when your foot hits the floor, when you come in, everybody hears the same. When you, when you have in your mind a music club in the world, this is the one, and, and it just happens to be this great place. This has a culture, a music, an energy, a vibe that captured something in the 70s, a bit of freedom, a little bit of fun, a whole lot of partying, and carried it for 40 years. You got people from all age groups, so you don't see that very often. The Double Door, Charlotte's home of the blues since 1973. Yeah, that's Eric Clapton's signature on the green room wall. After 43 years of music history, the Double Door is closing January 2nd. It's easy to say that Charlotte doesn't maintain its past and its history and they tear down the old buildings and everything has to be new and I can understand the need for progress. This is a legacy and you kind of hate to see those kind of places go by the wayside. Dumbledore has real character. They're tearing it down. There will be an awful hole. Live from the Double Door, the documentary. With the Kickstarter donation, you can join us and the thousands of musicians who shared their souls here to keep the legend alive. For anybody who asks, I will say, yeah, the Double Door was a cool place. I wish you'd been there. <laughs>